Sotiri again with a video on how to kill Karadin. In my video on Branca, I mentioned that this is basically the same fight. Well, it is, but if you side with Branca against Karadin, Shale will not fight on your side. And that can be a little bit of a disaster if Shale was your tank. In this video, I'm using a Mage PC, Morgan, and Ogryn. Ogryn does not have any points in Sword and Shield talents. He has base dexterity, base constitution, and he doesn't even have taunt. Morgan has most of her points invested in the Affliction line with a few in Spirit Healer talents. Unfortunately, out of the 20 odd spells she has, less than half are even effective against golems. Fortunately, my Mage PC does have a number of useful spells. Unfortunately, they aren't really ones that synergize well with Morgan's spells. Not in this fight, anyway. Anyway, all this is to say, siding against Keratin with shells or tank is a really bad idea. So, after you get done throwing your keyboard across the room, picking up the pieces, settle in for a long fight. This one took me about 13 minutes. I've edited it down so it won't be quite so long. In this case, since you probably can't stand up against Keratin or even the smaller golems with any of your characters, keep everything stunned, frozen, or paralyzed as long as possible. So in this situation, my motto is, the computer cheats, I cheat back. So what we're going to do here is called kiting. That means I'm going to do whatever I can to slow the enemies down while I run away. It's pretty basic. In practice, it means whoever's getting attacked is constantly running away, and the other two are doing damage. It's imperative you kill these weaker golems ASAP, because these two elite golems at the bottom are going to come after you in about 25-30 seconds after the beginning of the fight. If you have time, same as with the Bronca fight, heal your allied golems. In my case, I was pretty much too busy running away. At this point, things are starting to become a little bit more straightforward, but you still can't really afford to make mistakes. Keep on picking up all the Lyrian that's scattered around the map, and move on to the two elite golems. The worst thing that can happen at this point is getting knocked down. If you do get knocked down, you're probably dead. One way that can happen is from the golem's hurl ability. If you are their target and you are at range and you are standing still, they will throw a rock at you, and it will hit you, because you can't dodge it. And then, as Shell would say, they'll come over and squish your little head. From here out, the rest of the fight is long and boring. If you play your cards right, you can do it. Just don't make any mistakes. Don't get knocked down. Be patient, and don't pull any punches. It's just not a fair fight. Best of luck, and thanks for watching. Oh, they love me.
still we will